artist in England or any artist in the world. I've gone my way. Seventy odd years. It's taken me all this time to get to there. And then they come and they say it's too simple. Ooh. I don't know what they're talking about. It's wrong, and I'm going. That picture, if they take me, it's a part of the background. It's not a picture. I will not have it. Theo, but we are. I can music. see the colours. I can see all the colours, and I can see that the colours have changed because of the angle of the yes. picture. There's other pictures I can tell you about the subject matter. But I can't tell you about art. You can't explain art in words, painting. You have to see what's in the painting, not me. And if you don't, well, it's a waste of time. has a sort of ruthless determination to find what he calls the truth about art and painting and he treats everyone like slaves because he's a slave to art himself and that's why he's got so many paintings and they're of such quality he's a fine artist and there's no doubt about it you can question him as a man but as an artist there's no doubt that he is one of the greatest the cruelty the nastiness. Three little children being murdered this weekend. If I was... I had the power, I should destroy the people who do things like that. Innocence. Like a child. If people can't see the meaning in these pictures, well, get out and don't come back. He's been quietly painting away in that house now for, what, 40 odd years. And I think all the people that used to greatly admire his work, I think they're all dead and gone now. A lot of the people that wrote about him, a lot of the art critics, people that run galleries, um, are not in contact with him now. I think he, he's sort of, sort of gone very quiet. He doesn't care about anybody's opinion of, of him or his work. He just continues to paint. He'll continue to paint till he drops down dead. The reason why people don't know about him is because he hasn't wanted the publicity. Tony May, are you all right? Are you 
okay? stiff, isn't it, your leg? Let's get this out of the way. That's it. Just stick the hand down. That's right. I'll make you a cup of tea and then I'll make you breakfast. Okay. Put that one there. Are you okay for a minute? Yes. It's a beautiful morning for you. Yes, yes. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh. Look at that. Very beautiful. Look at that, isn't that lovely? Isn't it nice to see the birds? Yeah. Oh, they'll get together. On just a Monday in the and then they're off to Africa. Mm. <laughs> Should we go with them? Should we go with them? Let's fly away with them. I've never painted a picture to sell. Never. I met Theo about 15 years ago, 16 years ago, at the bus stop when I had my two babies. He said, come and spend the afternoon in his painting house, look at some pictures, and I was, I was hooked. I would say, he says three to 4,000 paintings. I wouldn't go as far as to say there were that many, but there's certainly quite a few. Early on, I did earn a bit of money. But after that, I finished with money. Everybody always says, why doesn't he sell a painting and give you a bit of money? But I don't expect that at all. I don't expect him to do that. And to be honest, I'm, I'm really, I've got as bad as him about the fact that I hate to see paintings going up the path to people's houses because I feel like nobody will ever see them again. I'd rather not. The same as his daughter Mary, both Mary and myself, we want everybody to see the paintings. This is one of the last paintings I've done. And I can't talk about the last painting without mentioning the early one and how they came about. Well, it was uh, just paving stones and streets and little houses and people crushed in those houses. And all that in our house were three in a bed. And I was always the one in the middle. And she didn't like. But they were wonderful people. At the end of the street, there's a great rock and chimneys with different colored smoke. A magnificent sight. And when they opened the furnaces at night, the light shone for 60 miles. Well, when it rained, and this light from the furnaces, a magnificent light shone on the wet pavement, and you could see the children walking on fire. A magnificent sight. There was something about the, the people, the workers, the men, and the women. Magnificent people. They were good people, and my mother and father were good. They'd help anyone. She worked in the mill. She was a cotton girl with a shawl. Both my father and mother worked in the mill for a very small wage.
God bless them. She developed terrible bronchitis through working in the damp mill, and it killed her. I think there must have been something in Theo that wanted to break away from that because um, there's something that made him a lot stronger than anybody, not only in his family, but in the whole neighbourhood. He must have stood out in some way because he's completely different from anybody I've ever met. Well, my father was a preacher. He believed every word in the Bible. And he taught people how to live a good life. But I couldn't see it like that. I could, all I could see was painting. And I knew that when I painted, I was doing the same thing that he did. This is my best model of all, and best portrait. She was a terrible, filthy old woman, but she was unique. But she loved Kathleen, and she loved Mary when, when she was a baby. But she didn't love me. She never loved me at all. I don't think she liked me, even. But I loved Mrs. Ferris. I turned the cord into the person I'm painting. If a person is very round and expresses this roundness in their breasts and so on, I turned it round. But Mrs. Ferris was thin and stiff. Not a woman. I asked her when it was finished. I said, how do you like it, Mrs. Fair? She, she said, when are you going to put the colour on? <laughs> I said, never. Doesn't need any colour. Wonderful girl. And one thing for sure is that Theo wants people to see his work. He definitely wants people to see his work. He doesn't want to sell it, but I think now's the time for, to have a big exhibition. I read these little figures. I'm so fond of these people that I don't want to paint anything else. These pictures are all about good and evil which is going on in the world. And the sun, there's hope, so long as that sun shines. Of course, you know, he's getting on a bit now, at 87, and uh, I've done a lot of the practical things for him. 
but um, I also help with the, the paintings as well. I get the boards ready, the paint together and um, give my advice, which he takes no notice of whatsoever. And um, everything else. He's just, he's just a good friend. He's my best friend, I would say. Been my best friend for a long time. But I've enjoyed that painting. There's so many things that are beautiful. I think that's one of them. Those birds, I can't forget them. These are the beautiful things in life. Talk, talking to the little hens. <laughs> 